See that? Oh. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm, hmm. There we go. This is lucky indeed. Lucky indeed. Okay. So what we need to do, we need to get her. Hmm, hopefully she doesn't despawn. Yes, that's going to be my shopkeeper in case you have not figured out. This is a very lucky, lucky development. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. You still there? Yes, okay. Come on, lady. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Soap the Great, and I am playing on the Too Crafty server once again. You can see got the amplified terrain going. Oh, hey. I wonder if I can get this guy. I need to do some more lighting up up there, apparently. Yep. So, why are we up here? Well, I wanted to show you part of the motivation behind today's episode. You can see we've got a few resources here, but mostly because I have been moving them over into these chests. You see the spider eyes building up gunpowder, redstone. I've actually taken some of this over to a fellow Two Craftians project because he is in need of some of the redstone. But uh, yeah, we got glowstone and sugar and you know, lots of stuff for potions just building up and I am not going to be using all of this. No. Uh, instead, the whole point of this farm is to help the community out but also potentially trade for some things that I need and the best way to do that is with a store and the best place to put a store is in the commercial district but the first thing I've got to do is actually find the commercial district and so I'm going to need to maybe get in touch with somebody else on the server and see if I can get a refresher course on where that is because it's been a while since my tour so I am going to head over to spawn and see if I can find anyone and we'll see if we can get a tour and, uh, and find where the commercial district is supposed to go and we're going to get a store built for potion items okay so I will meet you up at spawn once I have gotten in touch with somebody all right I will see you there hey D hi hey. so um yeah I'm I'm looking to make a you know, a little shop, um, and I heard that there was a commercial district, uh, if I remember correctly from the tour. Um, mm -hmm. The problem is that I think uh, I may have not been paying so close of attention, so uh, maybe don't tell Khan about that. Um, oh, yeah, I won't say anything. Okay, but uh, <laughs> do you happen to know where that commercial district is? Yeah, I know exactly where it is. Okay. Do you, yeah. you think you could show me? Yeah, easily. Follow okay. me. Yeah, Zade started at least most of the way with this path. <laughs> yeah, it goes it goes pretty far. People have been continuing it. Yeah. I noticed yours is going out to your place. <laughs> yeah, yeah I've, I've been the one uh, continuing that. Like, Zade started this. He got, like... I think he did most of this part, and then he just was like, okay, everybody else continue. Yeah. You see the pattern. <laughs> He's got some cool stuff going on at his base. Yeah, he does. I've been wanting to steal some iron from him. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> okay. Well, right now he's he's AFK. <laughs> True. So I could kind of take some. Yeah, maybe sort right. some. Yeah. So I think it's a little... Uh, I think it's this, this way. Yeah, it's over here. There's like okay. a plains. Yeah, just this general area. Like, Stall maybe you could here. start up here, I guess. Because see, there's like this big pretty lake or river of sorts. Then yeah, yeah. This continues up. This would probably be a good area to start shops. Actually, wait. This is the area he meant. Just anywhere in this general... Area. Okay, it's <laughs> lit up. Okay. Yep. Now, do you know if there are any, I don't know, uh, lot size requirements or anything like that? Um, no, I, I think it's just um, as long as you don't take over the entire place. You're okay, good. well, that shouldn't <laughs> shouldn't be a problem. 
Yeah. And uh, is there an architectural review board or anything like that? Um, no, I don't think so. We haven't set one of those up. No. <laughs> okay, that's a good thing. They're they're kind of a pain to deal with sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna scout out around here and uh, yeah. So get this get this shop started. But uh, thank you so much for your help. Mm, yeah, not a problem. Good luck with your shop. All right. And if you need anything, just let me know. But mm -hmm. uh, be watching, watching for uh, this shop opening up here soon. All right. All Sounds right. good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And I want to give a big thanks to Dee for showing me the commercial district, giving me that refresher tour. So what am I doing currently? You see what I have in my inventory here. I am getting ready to fill up the potion shop. That's right, I've done a lot of work off camera. Before we progress any further in talking about that though, I do need to tell you that if it sounds like my voice is a little bit different, that would be because I am just getting over a cold. That's right, uh, I was laid out for this past weekend and uh, it's it's going away but the well, some of the effects are still lingering. So. Um, I'm not going to gross you out with those details, but suffice it to say, I am over it, but the voice is still going to be affected. But here we are in the commercial district. I'm keeping my back to the actual potion shop because I want to talk to you a little bit about the site placement. Okay, so when you first come in, this would be the first plot that you would see coming down that road, which would imply that this is the best location for a storefront, especially if you are the first store in the commercial district and while I thought about that just a little bit the downside is that this lot is also a corner lot which means there are technically two storefronts that you have to decorate now I'm still learning as a builder and getting one storefront was enough of a challenge for me much less getting two like this arrangement okay so I chose not to go with the corner lot here instead I chose a different one the other possible one is right here in this cul-de-sac like right here okay this is also a great lot but the thing is I want to make sure that we have enough room on too crafty to continue you see the road right there is probably going to continue that way as soon as more shops start opening up so I wanted to make sure to leave that open so we've got a few along the side here there wasn't much room this way and then there's some up there but that's a lot of hill right there so instead what I did is I went back here and I'm still hiding I'm still hiding it because again I have done a lot of work off camera and I want the grand reveal to be uh, grand okay so you ready ta-da there we go that is soaps potion supply shop I've got some nether wart growing out here so if people happen to need nether wart feel free to grab it just replant when you're done and what we're gonna do is go in here and just take a look at some of the features you know what let me explain the outside first so I wanted to use more of the acacia and I had said earlier that I didn't want to use the dark oak or wanted to stay away from it but I find that the acacia and the dark oak go really well together nice contrast there and we've got the acacia logs and the acacia roof there it's a really tall roof this is in the vein of the oh, what is it? the um, steampunk steampunk roofs just with acacia wood so that's what I went with we got some detail with the fences and overall I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out I was gonna try and come in here and just build it and and go back and forth here on survival but uh, I couldn't bring myself to do it so I went into my creative test world and put one together just going back and forth and here's the inside we dressed up the the inside of the roof with the dark oak stairs and we've got some chandeliers here and those chandeliers make sure that these are non spawnable these cross beams right here so a lot of wood so hopefully we don't have too many thunderstorms because this thing would burn down very quickly so let's talk about this shop a little bit I have got a place for a future shopkeeper and I've been working on that hanging out just outside at night and what I want has not been spawning so uh, what we're gonna do here is just take a look at the the instructions 
real quick, you can you can pause if you want to. We're going to put the potion supplies on one side, and then it's going to be a a name your own price deal. Okay, so I'm going to have items that I change up on on a you know you know occasional basis. But all of the potion supplies are going to go here. So what we need to do is put all of these in here. And I'll, I'll spread those out. Next up is that. And I think glowstone is probably going to be the most popular. Given that I've already had some interest expressed. And then we've got the other, other things here. Yeah, I've got the spider eyes and the sugar. And then, of course, the glass bottles. We've got plenty of those. And I'll spread these out and I'll bring some more over. But for now, I'm going to spread these out such that we've got 16 in each one. And the name your own price is going to be really up to whomever happens to be stopping by. So if you, whatever you think is a fair trade, that's perfectly fine by me. If you just want to take some and not put any in there, that's fine. Payment chest is right there. And it's going to be uh, stacks of 16 for now. And as the witch farm keeps producing, then maybe we'll see increased supplies here. But um, also there's going to be coupons that I'm going to be handing out. And I've got a little book announcing the shop. So we'll go through... And you can pause. I'm not going to read the whole thing. So there we go. Just a little advertisement. And I'm going to put this in everybody's base that I can find. There are 11 people on the server. Uh, 11 other people. And if that catches you by surprise, that is because we have just added a new member, the Grizzly. So I'm going to have a, an updated set of links in the description below. Check out every other member on 2Crafty. That would be great. There's the coupons. So I'll be handing out these books and the coupons. And the other thing that we've got to do is get a shopkeeper. And we've got one more thing to do, and that is a little bit of ASCII art. Oh, and this. The needful supplies right now are clay balls and bricks. Yep, I need brick because... Well, that is part of my upcoming base design, and you may not have known that. That may come as a surprise to you, and you may be wondering what in the world are you thinking about. So, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. I don't mind you questioning my sanity when it comes to the design, but suffice it to say, we are going to be using brick, and a lot of it, and I need a lot of clay balls for that. So... Let's see, we need to go in line with this one. That's one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So we'll go boom, 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 boom. All right. And then what we're going to do is go up and then out two, one, two, and then right here. And yeah, I am using rather rich resources here but I've got plenty of the clay not clay quartz and plenty of lapis so we'll go here 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 and yeah still lapis do I have enough I hope I have enough I won't have enough of the quartz just a little ASCII art keep things interesting um Oh yeah, there we go. I messed one up. So we'll go here. And then pop up again. One more level. And there we go. Two quartz. And on this side, what we do is come out here. Can you guess what I'm going, or that I'm building right here? It may be kind of difficult. So there we go, another one there, there, and there. How are we doing on the quartz? Okay, so far so good. I'll probably need this batch as well. And then we'll go here 
And this one goes here. That goes there. Okay. And then what we need to do is start bringing it in. And did I get that right? I hope so. So we'll put a little bit of dirt there for... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I might have this wrong. So we'll we'll step back and take a look. And we'll see how that ends up. More dirt. And then the same thing there. More dirt. Okay. And now we'll come out with the orange stained clay. Pop up. Up. Boom, boom, boom. And then again, here, here, and then boom, boom, boom. Do I have any? No ender pearls. And we are in desperate need of an enderman farm. Is that right? Let's see. Step back. Proportions are right. I just need to get rid of the dirt. There we go. It's a water bottle. So let's get rid of that dirt up top. And we should call this thing, well, mostly done. I still need to get our shopkeeper. And that is, that might prove a little, little difficult. Yeah, there we go. Clean that up. And then I'm going to take a sleep. And I need to show you one more thing. We need to take a look around here. So when I came over here and I saw this lot, I, I didn't quite have the proportions set when I picked it. And then I started building the building in creative. And when I came over here, I found that my plot sizes were, or the plot size was too small to fit what I had designed. And so what I had to do is go into the river a little bit. See that? Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. Hmm, hmm. There we go. This is lucky indeed. Lucky indeed. Okay. So what we need to do, we need to get her. Hmm, hopefully she doesn't despawn. Yes, that's going to be my shopkeeper in case you have not figured out. This is a very lucky, lucky development. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. You still there? Yes, okay. Come on, lady. Come on. Okay, so that's a potion of slowness. Is she going to come? Yeah, she's coming. She's coming. She sees me. I got slowness. 30 seconds. Next up will be a poison. Okay. Does she see me? Yep. Yeah, there we go. All right, I've prepared a place for her. Oh, she doesn't know about me. Slowness is all done. Come on. Come on, lady. And poison. Harming. And slowness. So we need to eat just to regen a little bit. Come on. Come on, gal. She's got a pretty good aim. And so harming comes next. Oh, she can't get to me through that through that fence there. Poison and slowness. So I'm gonna need to heal up a little bit. I need to get her over to Yeah.
Yeah, she she doesn't know about me, but I need to heal up some. Yeah, so I've prepared a place over here for her. Where'd she go? There she is. Yeah, this is going to be difficult at best. <clears throat> Come on, lady. Yeah, she's not coming in. Hmm, this is going to be difficult. All right, well, we'll see what we can do, but uh, I am running out of, of time to record. Let's see what I can do off camera, and then I will be right back with you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, that did not take too long, but now I've got to get this name tag on her. And she's, she's really mad. Got her. Okay. Make sure that nobody, nobody lets her out. There we go. And yes, I've got the storekeeper and I have named her. I don't know if you can see it real quick. Ready? Bruxa, which is Portuguese for witch. So, so yeah, we're going to put her in there and eventually get her into the store but now that she's named she will not despawn so I've got some time to figure out how in the world I'm gonna manage to do that but uh, but yeah there we go so we've got the storekeeper and we've got we've got uh, our storefront and so here we go soaps potion supply shop it is now open and so we can pull this out what I'm going to do, I still need to off camera go to everybody's base or near as I can find them, go and deliver the coupons and the advertisement and that way it will be open for business for good. So looking forward to what this might bring and if you've got any other ideas of things that I should try and get you know, over here, I've got room for six, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Main thing I need right now is bricks. And if you've got any ideas, you what do you think of the the storefront itself? What do you think of my and I was going to show you this, but I got distracted by that witch. I put together this this retaining wall. What do you think of that? So it's kind of holding back the dirt that I had to fill in to put this building in place. Just to add a little realism to this, even though it is a video game. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you have enjoyed this thus far, and I look forward to hearing from you. So that's it for now. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.